And now another grim statistic that you may be familiar with. 25 states had suicide rate increases of more than 30% since the beginning of this decade. The turn of the century, the turn of the 21st century has been greeted by the largest increase in suicide that we've recorded outside of the depression, the Great Depression in the United States. Now there are many, many factors that go into suicide, many. But one of them, unfortunately, for some people, has become that they have given up on life because they are electrosensitive. And I want to share a picture with you of Maria August, 30 years old, just barely. And she says when she first became sick due to electromagnetic fields, she was shocked. She had no idea such an illness had increased. She, she didn't know. It's, it snowballed. And then, ironically, she became housebound as there was no safe place for her to go. So we are grateful to her for having left Environmental Health Trust a small bequest, but we earnestly wish that that had not happened, for her sake, for the sake of her family as well. As we just heard from the audience member who shared with us the loss of a 14-year-old from rectal cancer, the CDC has also documented that this century has seen a phenomenal growth in pediatric cancer, increased rates of brain and liver cancer, as well as rectal in these young people. Now let me be clear, I can't tell you what explains these. Obesity, inactivity, bad food, we know all of those things are relevant. All we have here is a trend, but these trends call out for explanation. Now. What do we know about electromagnetic fields? All electromagnetic fields are biologically active. You can see here, they run from the low frequency that turns on all the lights in this room up to the higher frequencies of non-ionizing radiation that allow television, cell phones, and Wi-Fi. And 5G is going to be at the top end of that in terms of frequency. Frequency is how fast it goes a second. So this is the lights in, your, in the room. This is the cell phone. It's 2.4 billion cycles a second. 5G will be 5 billion to 100 billion cycles a second. That's the frequency. The power of 5G is much less, but we're not concerned so much with power in this, for its biological effect. We're concerned with pulse. Repeated pulse exposure is what we are most concerned about, which we believe links the damaging effects on DNA from cell phone radiation and x-rays. That is to say they are different frequencies. X-rays we know are very damaging. Non-ionizing radiation of the phone we used to think might be less damaging. We now know that that's wrong. 